All right, delivery. I swear those uh, delivery people are ninjas. Didn't even know this was here. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Mark and this is Camp Lapidary. So today I have for you an unboxing of uh, some RV windows that I got for this cargo trailer build. Uh, inside this box are two 14 by 16 inch uh, teardrop style windows from a company called Rec Pro online. Uh, they sell a bunch of RV stuff. And so I bought these windows. They were about a hundred dollars a piece. And uh, let's see what they look like. Some nice foam packaging. Two windows bound together in foam packaging. Two packs of screws. And one installation sheet. So that's what you get in the box. And there's the windows. One's going to go here and another one over there. So they come with trim rings. This is the outside, the inside. They come, they come with a little trim ring. So I'll be using that. You can buy these without a trim ring and they're a little bit less expensive. All right, top, bottom. Now these don't open very far, but it's not a big trailer. So they lock in position right there. It looks like we have about a two inch gap. I don't know, they might go up farther. I can't tell if there's like a, a, a rubber stopper in here. And maybe that can be slid up and maybe it can go a little bit higher. I don't know. I'll, I'll investigate that. Because it does, you can open it a little farther, but it doesn't necessarily lock in place right there. We'll see. ring in the other window. They have screens on them, of course. Very nice. I think that's going to be a very nice addition to this trailer to be able to look outside to get some natural light in here and increase ventilation. Um, you know, I'm going to be putting a fan, a vent fan up here, uh, but you know, it, you can just open it and, and get ventilation. And just like you can just open the windows and get ventilation, you don't necessarily need electricity in order to get some breeze in here.
got a little foam rubber seal around the outside perimeter edge. Supposedly you don't have to use caulking in order to uh, get a watertight seal. So I'll, I'll try that. And if I see it leaking in any way, shape or form, I can take them apart and glue them. So the screws go through the hole and into this channel. All right. Once again, my name is Mark. This is Camp Lapidary. Thanks for watching.